young adults and teenagers lacking digital literacy even though they are supposed to be digital natives. According to the survey, a large number of these people do not possess the digital skills needed to succeed in the workforce. Digital access and true digital literacy skills are very different even though digital technology are easily accessible. The COVID-19 effect on education, notably the abrupt switch to online instructional technology, it also made problems with digital literacy for instructors and students more apparent. Because of the quick shift to online learning without enough planning or training, some students had a bad experience which highlight the need for a higher level of digital literacy in the educational system. The various difficulties that come with being digital literate including issues with false information, plagiarism and problems with the reliability of sources. This problem emphasizes how important it is to actively tackle these difficulties because they play a crucial part in determining a person's capacity to understand and interpret information signal in the world of digital media. It is crucial to address these issues with digital literacy in order to promote a more astute and knowledge knowledgeable digital society. I know it, but sin cannot be trust. Everyone need to know this. Yo, yo, chill. Where did you get the info? I saw a lot of news in TikTok about vaccine giving bad side effects to people that take the shot. I even saw videos about people getting COVID-19 a day after taking the vaccines. Are you sure that the information is legit? Are you sure that the news came from a certified source? Don't just believe everything you see on the internet. This story is clearly fabricated. I mean, look at the spelling and grammatical errors. The accounts, other posts, all of them are nonsense. This video was clearly made to get attention from others. What? So, all of the accounts lie? Hey, don't let one bad apple ruin your perspective on TikTok. This platform can give many useful resources if you knew the right sources. How I am supposed to identify the certified news provider? Don't worry, I will show you. First, make sure that the account have a verified symbol beside their names. If you found news from unverified account that seem legit, try to reverse search the video using Google. Thanks Aisha, I can believe that I almost spread misinformation on my social media. You're welcome, just be careful next time. Hello? Evie, your Telegram account got hacked. Huh? What do you mean? Your account keeps spamming some word linked to me, and when I try to text whoever is controlling your account, the sender only respond click here. So it's obvious you got hacked. Wait, let me check it first. Oh no, how did this happen? The hack is sent it to everyone in my contact list, even the group chat too. This is so embarrassing. Can you send any message to anyone on Telegram? You need to warn them first. I can. The hacker delete my messages before anyone could see Calm it. Calm down, Avi. You can still contact through everyone through WhatsApp. Tell them about the link and your hack account. I'll help warn everyone on Telegram on your behalf. Thank you, Isa. You are a lifesaver. So, did you get your account back? Yes, but I decided to delete it and create a new one. Ah, that's unfortunate. At least it's over now. But I still wonder, how did my account get hacked like that? Hmm, did you happen to delete those weird links from yesterday? Oh, well, now that you mention it, I did. Yep, yeah, that's how they hacked your account. But how did I do that? 
After click on the link, did you enter any confidential data by any chance? Now that I think about it, I was directed to a Telegram login page, and I gave away my phone numbers and password. Evie, you were attacked by a phishing scam. This type of scam will direct you to a fake login page to steal your account. If you don't want anything like this ever to happen again, just don't click any suspicious link or share your personal information. Ah, don't forget to activate two-step verification too. It can secure your social media account. Yes, you are right. I should do that to avoid this problem. But hey, at least you are safe now. Come on, let's grab something to eat. Food? Sure, let's go and eat together. Hmm, why is so hard to find article on the internet? Hey Aisha, how many article have you found? About five. Five? You only start an hour ago. How did you manage to find that many reference in such a short time? I use Google Scholar. It's really easy to find article using this website. I tried to use this website, but then only display updated articles that cannot be used as reference since our professor only accept article published from 2019 to the present years. Have you configured the filter to exclude articles that are updated based on the years they were published? You can do that? Yes, you can also use advanced search to find your targeted article using keyword, author, and publication dates. Wow! Are there any other websites that you can recommend? Of course, there are lots of Websites that can help us students such as Quillbot, Grammarly, ChatGPT, and more. This website can assist us in phrasing, checking grammar, and detecting plagiarism. I'm going to use this website right away. That's the spirit. Let's try to finish this assignment today. In summary, digital literacy, which includes the aptitude or Proficiency use and navigation of digital technology is an essential set of skill in the contemporary world. People that are digitally literate have greater access to resource, communication, and information. A person who is digitally literate has the ability to access information critically, identify reliable sources, and navigate the large amount of internet content. Collaboration and communication on a variety of digital platforms are improved by digital literacy. In order to succeed and engage in 21st century society, one must possess a diverse range of competence known as digital literacy, which goes beyond simple technical proficiency. Its influence goes beyond individual growth to include economic expansion, societal advancement and the building of a more knowledgeable and interconnected world community. Digital literacy will become even more crucial as we move forward in the digital age and become essential to both individual and group success.